Hey guys, these 5-pack footy mini brands are now available online at Sam's Club and today I'm going to open all 10 balls to find out if we get something different than what's in the Target or Walmart balls. If you guys remember, Series 3 also had these 5-packs at Sam's Club and I really enjoyed this cardboard that it comes in and it just holds them so nicely, like look at that, right? Anyway, we have quite a few to open so let's get started. Well, that's not a good start. First pouch, we got the Crave Crate from White Castle. I found out during my last video that this crate actually has 100 sliders inside. So if you get this one from White Castle, yeah, you better have a lot of hungry people at home. They should have used bigger bags for these because they're so hard to get out, right? Okay, we got the mozzarella sticks and now I can proudly say that I know exactly how they taste. They're actually pretty good, but they do not come in this container, which is a little bit disappointing. We got a Subway cup of coffee. Never seen this one before, it's uh, definitely new to my collection. It's the Hardee's Rise and Shine Full Bodied. So this is the cup of coffee from Hardee's, which actually looks pretty good and I'm happy we finally got another new one to add to our collection. The plastic here is not wrapped, you know, that good, but maybe we can get another one so we can replace this one with a better one. And in here we got the cash register. I think I built in ones before, so we're not gonna build it right now. We're just gonna move on to the next one. I really hope this zipper is gonna be better. Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Well, this one isn't that good. <laughs> there we go. We got a Subway sandwich, we already have this one. I think on the collector's guide this is actually advertised as a 12 inch teriyaki chicken, but that looks more like the, the buffalo chicken type, right? Uh oh. We got another Hard Rock Cafe. Uh, I think it was called a brownie something. Either way, you guys told me in the comments that this is actually really delicious, so... All right, we got the ribs. This one is looking pretty sharp, isn't it? And I think this is a bag. Yep, it's the Hardy's bag, nothing too crazy. Still, I kind of prefer the bags more than the accessories, to be honest, I don't know why. I mean, if I get doubles, I might as well get the bags, not the accessories. See, talk about accessories, I'm getting one. That's, that's what I get, I jinxed myself. All right, so this is the mustard thingy. I think they call it a, a mustard dispenser. Come on, I need a nice, clean, crisp unzipping. Oh boy. Okay, this is a Subway to go box. Not quite clean, but uh, what are you going to do? I know a lot of you guys are looking forward to when I'm going to open one of these and show you what's inside. It's probably nothing, but I'm trying to figure out a way to open these without breaking them or cutting into them. Uh-oh. I actually forgot for a second that we have this. It's the Itsu Chicken and Spring Onion pot stickers, I guess. They actually call these gyoza. It's right there on the packaging. We don't have this company here in the United States, but I know it's pretty popular in Great Britain. How crazy would it be to actually fly there just to try these and every other mini that, you know, comes from them? Is that too crazy? Would you guys like to see that? Okay, this is the cheese slider from White Castle. Another Subway, let's see what it is. It's the very popular meatball sub. Not in real life, well maybe it's popular in real life as well. I'm, I'm referring to Mini Brands Universe. Seems like we got a lot of these, at least in my region. I know there's, they kind of like mix them up, so in, in certain regions you probably didn't get as many as these, but you got a lot of some other minis, I don't know. And more ribs and fries from TJ Fridays. 
By the way, one five pack case goes for $34.98 at Sam's Club, which comes down to $6.99 for one ball, which is actually cheaper than what they go for at Target right now. Yeah, Target also had these for $6.99 when they were first released. And then for some reason, they decided to raise the price to $8.49. Well, we know the reason. They probably have to make a little bit more money than they already did. Still, that's not cool, Target. Not cool. Yeah, I kind of know what this is now. Mm-hmm. Just as suspected, another Subway to go box. At least it's not a cardboard box, right? Oh. <laughs> okay, that's what happens when you pull this like that and it's actually not glued in there. It probably should have been glued in there, right? Either way, we got the Subway cookie. And this is the Orange Tango from Hard Rock Cafe. It's another one of those minis that should have been collector's case exclusive, but for some reason, mini brands really messed everything up this time. Okay, these are these are once again the pot stickers from TJ Fridays. Another mini that should have been a collector's case exclusive, but it's not. Oh, we got a burger. We got the Sonic cheeseburger. Hmm. I would go for a burger right now, which reminds me, I'm so sorry I forgot to do the disclaimer in the beginning of the video, but I guess, you know, it's never too late. If you're hungry, go grab something to eat. Don't watch this on an empty stomach because you're going to lose your mind. Kind of think about it. Even if you watch this and your stomach is not empty, yeah, you're, you're probably going to start craving some of these real fast. Ooh, that was nice. Another accessory, I think it's again the, what do you call it, soda machine, the fountain drink machine? Or probably not. Is this some kind of like warming thingy? Well, it's over there, but there's no name next to it or anything. Do you guys know what that is? It's the number 67. If you do, let me know in the comments because I, I genuinely don't know what that is. It looks like a some sort of thing where you keep food warm or something. I don't know. We got a TGI Friday's cheeseburger. They did a really good job. Look at that cheese melting. It looks so real, right? Yeah, we already have this one, but... Oh, wait, I almost forgot. We don't have the, the other thing, you, whatever that is. So let's uh, go and mark it on the list right now. And I'm looking forward to finding out in the comments what exactly is it, because, yeah, no clue whatsoever. Okay, another bag. This time it's from Sonic. It's the one that had that chip inside. Some of you said it's a mint, but recently I got a couple of comments that said that it's actually like a, almost like a poker chip. And then if you give it back, they give you a free drink or something like that. Honestly, at this point, I don't know exactly what to believe. I mean, both of those answers actually sound, you know, rational. So I wouldn't be surprised if maybe both of them are true. Who knows? Maybe it depends on the location you're in. I don't know. some reason i don't know why i saw i think the way the light shined on it and this yellow kind of like reflected inside the bag i was almost 100 percent sure this is some type of gold but it's not it's uh just a subway cup i was thinking they put soup in here but some of you say they can even put like meatballs in here if you just order a side of meatballs and of course another crave crate i think one of these days i'm gonna get one of these i mean the actual one from white castle well, guess what, you guys? I got another package and this one comes from Jennifer. Yes, very um, tricky way to cover that because I forgot to actually cover it before I started filming. So thank you, Jennifer, for sending me this. I don't know exactly what it is. She did write me an email uh, asking if I received it. Then I did, as you can see. I also replied to that email. But um, yeah, I'm really curious to see what's inside. So let's open it. Look at this. Jennifer sent me a mini brand. It's the Apple Pie Spice. Thank you, Jennifer. And we also have a note. Let's read it. I love your videos and I love mini brands. I get them to use for my Barbie doll's house. I am given one of mine. I think she wanted to say I am give. 
I'm giving you one of mine. I have five of them. Um, here's a joke for you. What did the book say to the doctor? I am full of problem. Oh, okay. I know, I know what you meant. I think it was a, a math book, right? And the math book is full of problems. That is pretty good. That is pretty good. <laughs> Well, Jennifer, I know you said you have five of these, but still, I really appreciate that you actually sent me one. I'm definitely going to add this to my collection, and you know why? Because everything I get from you guys is very special to me. So, Jennifer, thank you once again. Come on. Why are these so hard to open? So strange. We recently just got the mustard dispenser, even though we have both of them. And now we got the ketchup dispenser. It's an accessory, but to be honest, it's it's a pretty good looking accessory. Okay, we got another bag from Hardee's. Mozzarella sticks from TJ Fridays. I can literally taste these right now. They were so good. Mm, based on the way it feels, I think it's this one again. Well, what do you know it is? Yeah, I'm not complaining. This mini is actually really cool, I think. I think it looks really good, right? What do you guys think? Okay, I think this is the BMT, the Subway BMT, the six inch. Oh my God, really another one? Don't get me wrong, I like ketchup, but this is actually a empty container of ketchup. <laughs> You know what would be crazy? Imagine if I tried to make this functional. Okay, we got another Hardee's. Oh man, I was hoping this one has, you know, the wrapping done correctly so that I can keep it for my collection. Yeah, it's actually worse than the other one. This is the one we just got and this is the, the other one. Okay, more ribs. I really hope I get to try these soon. They look pretty delicious. Okay, another Subway container that you know, holds hot stuff like soup, meatballs, things like that. Hey, a White Castle bag. The only people that know why I'm chuckling is the people that actually saw the previous video. Brings back uh, some, some good and funny memories. Look at the way this is like rolled up. That's interesting. Hmm, I think I know what it is. Yep, it's another box from Sonic. Oh, sorry, another bag, not another box. Okay, this is a burger. Sorry, a cheeseburger from TJ Fridays. You know what I wonder? Maybe the burgers do come in this type of packaging and not, you know, your usual clear plastic, you know, container like the mozzarella sticks came into. Yeah, that's going to be interesting to see. Jeez, these are popular. <laughs> another Subway hot container. Another White Castle Crave Crate. And the last pouch has more tomato ketchup. The dispenser, I mean, not just tomato ketchup, just a tomato ketchup dispenser. All right, I haven't done this in a while, but let's do a comment shout out. Today's comment shout out will go to Rochelle C. And they are saying, if you were able to choose five new restaurants for the next foodie series, which restaurants would you choose? I thought this is an amazing question. I would like to see another, you know, fast food chain like um, that deals with burgers. So something like McDonald's or Wendy's or Burger King's or one of those. Then I would really like to see a pizza place, maybe Pizza Hut or Papa John's. Oh, I know Taco Bell. Taco Bell would be so good, right? Then maybe a coffee place like Starbucks or Dunkin Donuts. I'm not a big coffee person, but I know you guys are. So I'm pretty sure a lot of you would be excited to see that. And I don't know, honestly, there's literally so many choices, but maybe um, Cheesecake Factory. I think it would be really cute to see like really small slices of cheesecake on a plate. So yeah, that's what I would pick. But let me know in the comments. I'm curious, what would you guys want to see in the next Foodie Mini Brand series? Wings from TJ Fridays. Honestly, they look more like drumsticks, right? They're kind of huge. I wonder how they taste though. We got the tuna sandwich from Subway. I think it's tuna. Yeah, it is tuna. But those slices of, I think that's tomato, right? They look really cool. They're really detailed. 
Hey, chicken rings from White Castle. Yeah, this is another one that brings back memories. And again, it's related to the previous video that I posted. So if you guys are curious, you should go check it out. No way. What? We got a frozen moment. Not just any frozen moment, we got the burger. And this is from, uh, it's the burger from Sonic. This looks so cool. Look at that. So I was just about to say like, yeah, I don't think there's anything special about these cases, but I did get this frozen moment, but I don't know if it's, honestly, I don't know if maybe you can get it in the regular balls too, but, but this is a big win. I mean, I am really, really happy. You know what, whatever I get in the, the other ones, I'm, I'm okay, I'm fine. I'm, that's a big win. Okay, we got one of those strawberry lemonades from Hard Rock Cafe. And I'm not sure if this is actually regular lemonade or it's actually, you know, the spiked version of lemonades. Oh man, another to-go box from Subway. From Subway. I don't know why my voice is giving up on me, but <laughs> there aren't many brands. Why couldn't you? I don't get it. Like, okay. You obviously made two parts for this, right? You made this part and then you made this part. Why did you have to glue this to, you know, this part? Why did you have to, you could have just let it open. You save money because you don't use glue. And then I'm sure a ton of people would have, would have liked that. You know, I, I just don't get it. All right. This is another one of those uh, collector's exclusive uh, minis. <laughs> Not so exclusive after all. See, the problem with these is they, it gets caught in that, you know, in that corner. That's why you can't open them. Wings. I think this is my least favorite mini from TJ Fridays in this series. Yeah, it just, just doesn't look right. Looky, looky, I got a cookie. <laughs> Remember that? <laughs> yeah, that was funny. All right, this is the last pouch. Chances are there's nothing great in there, but who knows? Yep, it's a burger. And technically it's uh it's the regular version of this frozen moment. See? Alright, so in conclusion, we just got two new minis to add to our collection, so nothing nothing crazy. I was just expecting that there's gonna be a little bit more rare ones uh in these five packs. Thank you for liking, commenting, and subscribing, and as usual, stay golden until the next video. Bye bye. Oh.